Okay, so some of my followers have been calling me out, and I'm so glad that you guys did. Some of you have been calling me out because you guys saw me do two different problems where I was finding the slope of a line, and I was given two points, and so I was using one point as the, the first point and another point as the second point, and you guys were like, whoa, 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 whoa. How do you choose which point is going to be the first point and which point is going to be the second one when you're finding the slope of a line? So this video is going to be used to answer that question finally. And I'm so glad that you guys feel open enough to comment on my videos and to ask me, whoa, 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 Miss Amber, what are you talking about? You did it two different ways, two different times. So we're going to clear this up in this video, but we're also just going to go over how we can find the slope of a line when we're given two points of that line. So let's do this first one. It says, what is the slope of a line that goes through two, three, four, six? So when we're finding the slope of a line, we use the slope formula. And that slope formula is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And I have that written here already. So we have to decide which one of these points is point one and point two. So naturally, when you read a problem, you think that this one is going to be the first point and this is going to be the second point. And for means of this illustration, I just want to show you and tell you that you're correct. We're going to go over the reason why that's right after I just show you how we could do the problem. So if this is the first point, remember each point is x, y and x, y. If this is going to be the first point, so then that means it would be x, one, y, one. And if this is the second point, then it's going to be x2, y2. And then now that we have all of the points labeled, we can go ahead and fill in y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So y2 would be 6. y1 would be 3. So 6 minus 3. And then x2 would be 4. And x1 would be 2. So it'll be four minus two. So now that we've inputted all of our information, we just go ahead and subtract. Six minus three is three, four minus two is two. So the slope of the line would be three over two. But the question is, does that work every time? Do you always use the first point as the first point and the second point as the second point? And the answer is no. The reason why is that sometimes they don't have the points going in the proper order. What do I mean by that? Well, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to draw a graph with those points on the graph. So let's erase this. And I'm going to go ahead and make an x, y axis. Okay, this is the x axis, this is the y axis. Now I'm going to point, put these two points on the graph. So two, three. I'm going to go over one, two, and then up three, one, two, three. That's my first point, two comma three. And then my second point is four. So I'm going to go four, one, two, three, four, up six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is going to be my next point, four, six. So if I had a line, it would go through both of those points like this. So what point do you, when you're going across, comes first? This would be the first point. And then if you continue down the line, this would be the second point. So when I'm doing this and trying to find the slope, this is going to be my x1, y1, and this is going to be my x2, y2, simply because this comes first on the line and this point comes second. Well, what about with this problem? What is the slope of a line that goes through 5, 5, and 0, 0? Can I just say this is the first point and this is the second point? Well, let's go ahead and test it out by putting it on an x, y axis. So we're going to go ahead and put it on an x, y axis, and we're going to test it out. So this one is 5, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the point will be here. Then this is 0, 0, so it would be right here on the point. And if I drew my line, it goes across right here. Okay, so as I'm going up my line, zero, zero would be the first point. And then as I continue up my line, 
then five, five is my second point. So this can't be the first and the second, it actually has to be reversed. This zero, zero is the first point, and the five, five would be the second point. So when I went and labeled that, five, five, and zero, zero, five, five would be my second point, so it would be x2, y2, and zero, zero would be my first point, which is x1, y1. So when I go ahead and put it into my y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, because this is the first point, anytime I see x1 or y1, I'm gonna put in zero. So, and it's gonna be y2, this is y2, five, minus y1, which is zero, and then x2, which is five, x1, zero, five minus zero is five, five minus zero is five, five divided by five is one, and so my slope would be one. So the difference between this first problem and the second problem is that in the second problem, these points were not ordered properly. They actually should be switched around. The way that I knew that is because when you were to graph the line, zero, zero actually came first and five, five came second if you're following from left to right. Is there a way to know that without graphing? Yes, there is. So let me show you how I would see which one comes first without graphing. So I have five, five and I have zero, zero. And I don't wanna graph this because I don't have the time to graph this on a test. How do I know which point comes first? Well, you could just look at the X in each point. Whichever X has the lower value is the point that comes first. So five compared to zero, which one is lower in value? The zero, so this would be the first point. This would be the second point. Okay, what about this? If I said four, six, and nine, five. Which point should come first and which point comes second? Well, you look at the X's and whichever one has the lower value for the X will be the first point and whatever has a higher value will be the second point. So four compared to six, four is a lower point. So this would be the first point, this would be the second point. Okay, what if they told you to find the slope between these two points? Four, nine, and five, 10. Okay, well, we're gonna compare the X's again which whenever, whichever X is the lowest value, that's gonna be the one who you go first. So four to five, four is the lowest. So four would be the first point, and this would be the second point. Once you have them figured out as to which point is first and which point is second, then you can go ahead and label them. So the first points are X1, Y1, and the second points are X2 and Y2. Now, when I go ahead and put them in y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1, I know which point is the first one and I know which points are the second one. I hope this is making sense to you. I hope that it's clear for you to see that just because the problem says this point is first doesn't mean that when you graph it on the line, that point comes first. You have to figure out, okay, if I were to graph this on a line, which point will come first? That's gonna be my x1, y1. If I graph this on a line, which point comes second? That's gonna be my x2, y2. So now that we have this information, let's go ahead and do this problem together as if we just knew all that already. Okay, what is the slope of a line that goes to zero, three, and four, six? The first thing I'm gonna do is figure out which one should be my first point and which one should be my second point. Well, remember, if we don't wanna graph it, we could just compare the x's. Whichever X is the lowest, that's gonna be the first point. So because this is zero and that's four, zero is less than four. So this is gonna be my first point and this is gonna be my second point. Perfect, because it's already written in that way. So now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna label them. X1, Y1, X2, Y2. Now that I have everything labeled and lined up, I can go ahead and use my slope formula to figure out what the slope of this line would be. So we do y2, y2 is six, minus y1, which is three, and then we do x2, which is four, minus x1, which is zero, 
Now that we have all of our numbers in our formula, we can just go ahead and subtract. 6 minus 3 is 3, 4 minus 0 is 4, and our slope would be 3 over 4. I hope this has helped you guys. Very sorry for being confusing in my other videos. Thank you for calling me out on it and asking me the questions. I have to prioritize my followers and what questions they have. But if you also have questions for me, please just drop them below any of my videos. I try my best to look at all the comments. I try my best to respond to as many as possible. Happy studying, you guys. Please let me know what else you need. And I have a few other followers who have messaged me asking for questions. I haven't forgotten about you guys. Hopefully you'll see a video answering your question soon. Have a great day, guys. Bye.